Hello everyone, my name is Lee Simard. I'm a fisheries biologist with the Vermont Fish and Wildlife Department. And tonight we're along the shores of Lake Carmi getting ready to do our annual walleye population monitoring. Walleye are Vermont's state warm water fish species and are a very popular sport fish due to their size they are able to achieve and their high quality as table fare. Lake Carmi is one of only a few inland water bodies in the state that support walleye. Walleye here reproduce naturally, creating a self-sustaining population that receives very high fishing pressure during both the open water and ice fishing seasons by anglers that travel here from around the state and the region. Our monitoring is conducted using a boat electrofisher that we slowly drive around the shoreline at night as walleye come into shallow water to feed. Electricity is put into the water, allowing us to temporarily stun the fish and net them to put them in a holding tank on the boat. We then collect biological data from these fish, including lengths, weights, and ages. Ages are determined by clipping a single spine from the fish's dorsal fin along its back. Spines are sectioned and looked at under a microscope where growth rings, just like those on a tree, can be seen and counted. This data allows us to track changes in the walleye population over time and implement special management strategies to maintain a high quality fishery. For instance, special regulations that change the walleye bag limit and minimum length size are in place on Lake Carmi. Our monitoring has allowed us to show that these special regulation changes have led to a higher abundance of large walleye, which are extremely popular among anglers. Our work allows us to monitor the walleye population's response to other challenges facing Lake Carmi as well. Blue-green algae blooms are a serious problem that occur each year on the lake due to high levels of phosphorus in the water and sediment. The blooms are unsightly and can impact recreational opportunities, including fishing. The Vermont Fish and Wildlife Department is working closely with the Department of Environmental Conservation and other partner organizations to address this problem while also maintaining the incredible walleye fishery in the lake. The other serious challenge is the presence of alewife. Alewife are invasive, non-native species that was discovered in Lake Carmi in 2017. The species likely enter the lake either by a release from a bait bucket or by someone intentionally introducing them into the lake, both of which are illegal. Alewife populations grow rapidly and can predate on larval walleye, impacting the success of walleye recruitment. Our annual monitoring now includes netting for alewife to track their population and understand how they are impacting walleye in Lake Carmi. This situation underscores why it is illegal to move and introduce fish species from one water body to another. Doing so can have very serious biological consequences on the fisheries we enjoy. I hope you have enjoyed learning a little bit about walleye management on Lake Carmi and find an opportunity to travel to Franklin to enjoy this great opportunity yourself. If you do, share your catches with us on social media using the hashtag FishVermont. Hope to see you on the water.